Scorpio. This is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Maybe all of this reading may be for you or maybe parts of this reading will be for you. We do try to provide as much information as we possibly can. So maybe if this situation doesn't fit, maybe the advice or recommendations or information will. Again, general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio, this month, September 29th, marks a full moon in the sign of Aries. I'm letting you know now about that full moon so you can start to prepare. It is going to be a powerful full moon that comes on the heels of the fall equinox on September 23rd. You may be finding yourself having feelings of uncertainties and during this time of uncertainty you can really feel the need or you may be feeling the need of being rushed to need to move faster in making decisions or taking movements what that is scorpio is spirit is asking you to slow down to take your time and to move at your own pace, a pace that is comfortable for you. And you can take this time to prepare for that. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for the sign of Scorpio. Also, Scorpio, that full moon is happening in your sixth house of work and wellness. So you will most likely be very busy Deadlines are not as important as your peace of mind. So if you need an extension, ask for it. This is the perfect time to abandon any negative habits. And underlying card foundation of this reading is the Six of Swords. And I love that. Just as we were talking about um, leaving behind negative habits. And so, Scorpio, when we look closer at the Six of Swords, we do see that a person leaving behind what is no longer serving you. And I think that that is what spirit, what um, you are being guided to do at this time is to evaluate and leave behind things that are no longer serving you. Let's see how that card plays into the rest of your reading. And we start off with this wonderful Knight of Pentacles. And if we look closer at that pentacle, we can see, oh, and then we have that beautiful magician card. But if we look closer at that pentacle, so you can get that focused in, we can see this person is looking past what they have in hand and looking towards the future looking towards the horizon looking towards the future looking towards the horizon and look what this person is looking towards which would be the three of pentacles and the three of pentacles we could almost say that that is a social card a leader card. If we look closer at what is happening here, we have a person that has taken leadership and has taken ownership, has taken responsibility. And I do believe that something is ending so something new can begin or come in. And I do believe whatever this is that is coming in for you, whatever new that is coming in for you, it's something that you've been wanting, something that you've been planning on, something that you have been trying to bring in or trying to manifest, trying to materialize. And if we look closer here, we can see there's stormy weather, so it hasn't been an easy task. It hasn't been an easy journey. But I do believe that there's 
a new position or new job offer that has that is coming in for you that is here something that you feel is fair something that is fair and it's coming in it's right there on the horizon but you've had something had to end so something new can begin and I think you are just right now in the transitional stage the transition stage and so you know that doesn't always necessarily mean a new job and it doesn't always necessarily mean a new position um, it could be maybe you've been working on a project that project has come to an end and the new project coming in is going to be bigger and better than the last or it could be that maybe you're keeping the same position but your position at work is going to be reorganized or realigned to where it's going to have more responsibility and a better payoff, a better benefit, a better positioning. But this transition is going to require a lot of focus and a lot of dedication a lot of focus and a lot of dedication on your part and so while I, I'm getting the feeling that you've done well in the past and what you have done in the past has been beneficial to you or for you. Whatever this change is that's coming in, whatever this opportunity is that is coming in for you, it is going to require a lot of focus and a lot of dedication. But I do see that that added focus, that added dedication will pay off. But it's going to require you to leave behind it's going to require you to leave something behind. And I, and I do believe what you are asking, what spirit is asking you or what spirit is recommending for you at this time, Scorpio, is to maybe incorporate a new skill, a new habit to leave behind what is no longer serving you leave behind what is no longer serving you so what has worked for you in the past is not going to work for you in the present or not going to work for you moving into the future and so it could be even if you've always done a certain job even if you've already always done a certain procedure in a certain way or things have always been done that way it's requiring you or requesting you to do something in a new way I don't see do something in a new way Or, 
learn a new skill. Leave the past behind you and learn a new skill. Learn a new way of doing it and it will pay off. And remember, Scorpio, during this time, as we move through the fall equinox and move into that full moon, that if you need an extension, this is a perfect time to ask for that extension. If you need more time to learn something, And again, at this time, don't be pressured to rush into making decisions. Quite possibly, maybe that has been what has been in the past is you are quick-witted and you do like to move fast, but let's try something new by slowing down, taking time and move at a pace that is comfortable for you. And look at this, we have the King of Swords here in your private life, in your home life. Oh my gosh, we have some very powerful cards right here. I, a rigidness. You've been having a hard time relaxing. and finding balance and harmony in your life. And this is causing tensions with those around you. And again, it's coming up as change. You, Scorpio, you do, we all have the ability to change. We all have the abilities to make those changes in our life. And I do believe that that's why we have this High Priestess card here. We have this High Priestess card because this change that you are looking to make or wanting to make starts from with in. When we change ourselves internally, spiritually, those little changes are the changes that have the biggest effect on our environment, our external. This change, this situation starts from within. Say what you mean and mean what you say and you will get 
the support that you're looking for. Quite possibly have you been or has someone just paying lip service just telling people what they want to hear speaking words that they don't necessarily believe or speaking words that aren't necessarily true beating around the bush this way of communication may have worked in the past but it is not working now and it will not work in the future it will not work now or it will not work in the future and I do believe that's why we're seeing this six of swords here is spirit is asking us to leave behind what is no longer serving us Scorpio and I think what is no longer serving us in our private life in our home life in our personal life are our means of communication or how we are communicating and so communication is a two-way street communication requires a listener and a hearer and again I'm getting that say what you mean and mean what you say to get the support you need. Final thoughts, final messages. We have the teacher, we have the hermit. Looking at the two of swords the hermit also known as the teacher has the star here that intuition lighting the path learning to compromise learning to up uh, learning to compromise and sometimes the biggest part of compromise is learning how to adopt our behavior. The world card, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is, in this reading, I really do believe it's about cutting the ties that bind and I think the ties that are binding you are what is what has worked for you in the past is not working for you now and it's like you're stuck in a pattern you're stuck in a behavior and spirit is asking you to adopt your behaviors to the current situation 
leave behind what is no longer serving you and learn something new. Oh, look, because we have this new, yes. Learn something new. Learn something new, a new behavior, a new action. And Scorpio, I do like how this is playing into your cards, especially with all that wonderful moon energy going on. Um, starting with the fall equinox on September 23rd and ending with the um, full moon, the full harvest moon, September 29th. And so what we can do is take this time between now and then to maybe practice um, a little ritual to maybe incorporate something into um, our daily routine and it doesn't have to be a lot it could be maybe a quick five minutes a day what we can do to prepare for that harvest moon is we can maybe write down what it is that we would like to let go of. What it is that we would like to let go of, how we would like to let go of, of it, or our plan of how we're going to let go of that, and something that we are grateful for. And we don't have to spend a lot of time doing that. We don't have to spend a lot of time rethinking that. And then revisit that and adjust that and tweak that or add to that gratitude um, once a day from now until the harvest moon. And then on the evening of the harvest moon, we can have a little bit of a releasing ceremony. And a releasing ceremony, it can be as simple as maybe a bowl burning, um, a, a paper folding, uh, I see that cutting, I see, you know, ripping a paper, Piece, rip, ripping that paper up, a, a ceremony, and you can decide what ceremony works for you and how to best incorporate that into your um, daily routine over this next few days um, to help you prepare, to help you get ready, to help you release, to help you let go of that which is no longer serving you. And that is the message that I have for Scorpio. Thank you, Scorpio. You have a blessed week.